The great power of bases comes as a result of something called the unique representation theorem. That state and prove this theorem. That B be a basis of V. Then any vector in V can be a unique written as a linear combination of vectors in B. And you see I underlined uniquely because that's the important word here. If we didn't have that word, then this would be a trivial statement. A basis is a spanning set by definition, and this is merely the statement that B spans V. The significant part of this theorem is this word. Let's prove this. Suppose we have a basis B, and now suppose we have a vector V. By virtue of the fact that B is a basis, any vector in V can be written as a linear combination of these basis vectors. Suppose that this same vector could be written as a different linear combination of these vectors. Our claim is that that's impossible, that there's only one way of doing this. Let's prove that that's true. If this linear combination equals V, and this linear combination equals V, then certainly, since they equal the same thing, these linear combinations equal each other. And now we'll perform some elementary algebra. We'll move everything to the left. We'll pull out our common B vectors. And now what's this? A linear combination of these basis vectors is equal to zero. But basis vectors are linearly independent. The only linear combination of the basis vectors that can equal zero is the trivial linear combination where all these coefficients are zero. And that tells you that what you thought was two different ways of writing this vector was actually the same way. These numbers are the same. These numbers are the same. 
and so on down the line. So these are actually the same way of writing the vector in terms of these basis vectors. Proof complete.